everyone, my name is Anne Marie, and today I'm going to be doing a highly requested makeup tutorial. So let's just get started. I'm going to start by using the Hyaluronic Acid by Neutrogena. Just drop it right into my hand. Clean hands. And then I just put that on my face. Alright, the next thing I use is obviously an SPF. This is that in my hand. Okay, that's a lot. And then I just put some on my face. Now I'm gonna go in with like a for real primer. This is the e.l.f. matte putty primer. I usually put it in the areas where my pores are or in where I sweat. Let's go into the next part of my makeup. So obviously we are not letting these eyebrows look non-existent. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown. Yeah, this is Anastasia Brow brush and then the little... I don't know what that's called, but... Okay, so I go in... In the bottom part of the brow... Oh my god, there's moisturizer in my hair. After doing this part, I go on top midway, basically, and I kind of just shape the rest of my brow. Now, once I get to the front, I kind of bring it out this way. And then I go ahead in the front, and I just kind of blend it towards the middle. And then I go ahead and do that with the other eyebrow. Alrighty, so I'm all done with both sides of the eyebrows. Now I'm going to go in and carve the under part. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. Just take the stick. And then I take a sort of flat brush. I'm just going to be going underneath and just carving any sort of imperfection that there might be. So when I'm done carving out the bottoms of my eyebrows, I go in with my foundation and I take the same brush that I use for this and I just dip this in and then I carve the top of my eyebrows. So the next step is to put on foundation take a beauty blender and just put all over my face Alrighty, so the next step i go in is with a contour stick and this is the nyx wonder stick shade universal light i put it on my cheekbone and then i brought it sort of around to my forehead i also go in down to the jawline and boom i take this brush and i sort of just blend it out all right so after blending out all my contour i go in with my concealer and i go ahead and i place it right here here on my nose sides of my nose right here and on my chin and then i blend it with a beauty blender i just brought up my concealer up here to give more of a lifted look see so you can kind of see the difference from side by side Alrighty, so now that the concealer is done the next step that i'm going to do is i'm going to be going in with a liquid blush by elf in the shade dusty rose basically i just take it and i just do a little dot here dot here and i go in with a brush i just blend this out in sort of the area in which i said like i lifted upwards so the next step that i do is i grab this brush it's kind of flat and round and cream contour do a line underneath and i sort of bring it down like that and then i go ahead and i draw a line right above and then from there and i go up the bridge of my nose up until it reaches my eye area and then i do that same thing with the other side and this part right here is a little bit rough so i usually just blend upwards then so that it's not too harsh because from the side it's like whoa okay contour i go ahead with my beauty blender and i sort of just blend out so that it's not too rough Alrighty, now that i'm done with my contour let's go into the next step i go in with my fit me pressed powder in the shade classic ivory I go in with a powder puff. I am just going in the areas of where my concealer was. After going in with my pressed powder, I go in with my Laura Mercier. This is a translucent loose setting powder. And I go in with a different powder puff. So I've set my whole face. Then I go in, brush away any sort of excess of powder that is on my face. Alrighty, so now that that step is done, we're going to go in with a bronzer. I use the Hoola Benefit bronzer and then i go in with this sort of angled powder brush bronzing in the same spots that my contour was in now that the bronzer is done i take my laura mercier 
go in with my powder puff again and I sort of do what's called baking. Oh my god, it's getting all over my lap. I love that. And then I go from here all the way to where sort of my ear starts. Go underneath my eye and then i'm gonna sort of bake my nose as well Alrighty, so the next step after it's baking for about maybe like two minutes i go in and i just brush all of that away bed <laughs> with a baddie friend with a baddie friend <laughs> all right so now that i'm done brushing everything away i go in with blush this is the almay blush and i go in with is just like a flat brush i'm just gonna be putting it here here and then on my nose so after i'm done i go in with uh my powder little brush and i just brush over where my blush was so that it's like not insanely too harsh even though i kind of like it harsh i mean I and then i go in with my next step the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray and i get my little fan ready and i go ahead and i just spray my face i'm such a skincare girly oh my god all right this is a step that everybody has probably been waiting for the lip combo i put on some aquaphor this is how you know i'm loyal this is in the shade mahogany i line my lips with this all right now that i've lined my lips i'm gonna be going in with the shade nude pink and go into the shade in the rest of the lips the next step is going to be a highlighter so this is the ColourPop flexitarian highlighter but i just grab a brush like this <laughs> and i go into my inner corners and then the best part the nose and boom some people are like what's that white dot on your nose i'm like Honestly, like, I feel like it's like, kind of hand it's kind of backhanded, but it's like whatever. Hate on me! All you want. Alright, so after that highlighter is done, I go in with the Jumbo Stick from NYX. It's like an eye pencil. And this is what's my waterline. This is a classic. The OGs know about this. And then usually after this step, I put on my eyelashes, but since I put them on in the beginning, I will show you a little... I will put the picture here and then I'll link it down in the description too. Right, they're from Amazon. Okay, and then the next step is mascara. So I just brush my lashes up into my fake ones. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Waterproof. This is, I actually bought the wrong shade. This is a brown mascara. I don't know, I'm kind of really slow. Alrighty, and that was the final step to a makeup tutorial. The full beat. And then I'm going to fix my hair and then I'll come back. Ooh, is this a look? She, she better she show on the panty. She, she shake it like dummy. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's go back to the bangs. Alrighty, I'm back with my hair all done. It's not done, I just literally just fixed my bangs, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm so excited to keep posting on more on YouTube. Leave suggestions for what you guys want to see next. Like, subscribe, and I would really appreciate it if you followed me on all my other social medias. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!